In a game that could mark Diana Taurasi's final appearance in Los Angeles, the Phoenix Mercury clinched a hard-fought victory over the Sparks, winning 85-81. This matchup, though lacking significance in the standings, was anything but subdued emotions flared as Phoenix's Brittany Griner and Los Angeles rookie Rick Kia Jackson were both ejected following a tense confrontation. Despite the game having no playoff implications, Phoenix had already secured the number 7 seed and the Sparks were out of contention, the rivalry between these two teams remained as fiery as ever Tarasi, the legendary 42-year-old guard, contributed significantly with 13 points, 5 assists, and 3 rebounds. As speculation swirled about whether this season might be her last, Taurasi remained non-committal. I don't know, she said, reflecting on her lengthy career that spans over two decades with the Mercury. Her words hinted at the emotional complexity of possibly ending her illustrious career in her hometown having attended Don Lugo High School in Chino, California, Taurasi has deep roots in the area and has frequently played at what is now known as Crypto.com Arena. She is torn between savoring her final moments and not rushing her decision. The last couple of weeks have been nerve-wracking. I don't want to make any rash decisions, she admitted. Tarasi intends to focus on the immediate future, including the Mercury's upcoming game against the Seattle Storm and subsequent playoff preparations. Thursday's regular season finale against the Storm will be heavily promoted with the tagline If This Is It, signaling the possibility of Tarasi's last appearance in Phoenix. Despite this, Tarasi has not confirmed her retirement and is appreciative of the Mercury's supportive approach. I'm grateful that I can make this decision on my own terms, she said. I've been told that you don't always get to pick your ending. With the Mercury's final game against the Seattle Storm being a formality, and neither team having playoff stakes, it remains uncertain how much playtime the starters will see. The Mercury will face the number two seed Minnesota Lynx in the playoffs starting Sunday with the first two games in Minneapolis. Phoenix will need to secure at least one victory on the road to ensure a playoff game at home. Tuesday's game also saw Griner's night cut short. An altercation with Rick Kia Jackson resulted in both players being ejected. With 18.1 seconds left in the second quarter, tensions escalated as they battled for rebounding position, leading to a brief scuffle. Both teams' coaches, Nate Tibbetts and Kurt Miller, were left puzzled by the incident and will review the film. Everything happened so fast, said Miller. We'll see what exactly occurred. As Tarasi's possible farewell looms, fans and players alike are left to reflect on a storied career and the intense rivalry that has defined these matchups for years.